Hello, Hello, and welcome to another episode of Luxone Explained, our video format for all technology fans and Luxone partners. The new Luxone Config version 13 brings numerous new features. Today, I would like to go into detail about a special one, Intercom Trust. With the new Luxon 13, it is now possible for one intercom to be used by several mini-servers. This is particularly necessary in projects with several residential units. With this function, privacy was particularly important to us. The video stream of the intercom can only be called up by the individual mini-servers if the doorbell is also specifically rung. In order to be able to use this function, an established trust with the release rights of the intercom is required. Now, let's see this in practice. The building has a central mini-server to which the intercom is connected. The individual independent apartments each have their own mini-server, which has no connection to the central mini-server. So the apartments are completely independent. A trust is now set up between the central mini-server and the participants. And this is exactly what you are now looking at in the Luxon config. First, I connect to the central mini-server where the intercom has already been finally learned in and is ready for operation, and appoint the mini-server to the trust manager. Then, I add the trust members. The serial number of the apartment mini-server is required for this. Since the participant created is not currently a member of the trust, its name is not yet known and its serial number is used. Additional mini-servers can be created as participants in the same way. In the next step, a trust key must be generated to enable the participant to join the trust. First, click on the trust in the peripheral tree of Luxon Config. Then click on Generate Trust Key in the menu bar at the top. This creates a key file that needs to be saved. This file is about to become important. Now, we save in the central mini server and switch to the apartment mini server, which still has to join the trust. To do this, we click again on trust in the peripheral tree and on join trust. Now, the previous created key is required. After saving the apartment mini server, this one has now joined the trust and the online status of the trust manager is displayed. We switch back to the trust manager so that the central mini server and first load the configuration from the mini server. Now the trust participant is also displayed correctly with its online status. Now the correct authorizations have to be assigned. I click on authorizations and the properties of the intercom and assign the access authorizations for my trust participant. Of course, the configuration must be saved in the mini server. Now we switch back to the trust participant, so to our apartment mini server, and load the configuration. The intercom can now be searched for and inserted into the trust participant via the dialog. The new touch flex, for example, can now be used as a doorbell for several apartments, which is also connected to the central mini server via the intercom. Now let's switch back to the trust manager. Wechseln wir nun einmal zum Trust Manager. A separate bell output is now generated for each trust participant involved, which can now be connected to the touch flex by any bell button. Attention, the trust participant can now only access the intercom in the Luxone app if the doorbell is rung via the new created input or on their own intercom function block. This was a little insight into the new intercom trust function of Luxon Config App 13. If you want to learn more about it, I recommend taking a look at our online documentation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you. See you soon. YouTube Kanal. Vielen Dank fürs Einschalten und bis zum nächsten Mal.